Hello and welcome to another AMA TV presented by Greg's Garage. We're talking about the American Motorcyclist Association and what they're up to. And this time we're going to talk about the AMA Dirt Track Grand Championships, a place where young amateur dirt track racers get to go to race against the nation's best and learn the trade of racing. And here to help me do that is three-time AMA Pro Flat Track and reigning national champion Jared Mees. Hey Mees, good to have you here. Thanks for having me, Greg. Now, one reason we're having you on AMA TV is because you are this year's honoree for the Grand Championships, which is cool. But for young dirt track racers, how important is this event? You know, coming up as a kid, that was very important. It was basically like the Grand National Championship uh, for me, what it is now back then. You know, uh, amateur riders, especially going for the Horizon Award, have their sights set for sure on you know, going for that award, and, and it's a very prestigious time. You bring everybody across the uh, United States of America to DeCoin, Illinois, the best of the best, the California, the Texas, the uh, Florida, Pennsylvania, the Michigan. Everybody goes to one spot to race each other to see who the best is in their class, and uh, it's very important to a lot of the amateur kids for sure. In 2001, you walked away with the Horizon Award. How did that feel? Well, you know, I think it, for me, it gave me that um, that assurance, you know, in my mind that I was the next best youngest, uh, you know, AMA future Grand National Champion. And, uh, you know, to go there and win that award over a lot of the other amateur riders at the time was very prestigious. And basically for me was, uh, you know, more mentally of a, a stepping stone for me to say, OK, I, I'm the next guy. You know, I went here and I beat the best of the best. And. Um, I, you know, earned this award to, uh, you know, foresee going on to have a good pro career. That's basically what the Horizon Award is based off of, who they think is going to have the most success as a, a Grand National uh, rider. So um, that's what the Horizon Awards is, is mostly uh, about. July 6th through the 10th, the Grand Championships are in DeCoin, Illinois. Tell us about that. Definitely. Uh, you know, the amateurs will be racing on four different types of racetracks, a short track, a TT, a half mile, and the mile. Um, and I believe back when I raced it, there was two premier classes and there was also a non-premier class that you could run or not run. Um, but the two premier classes is what meant for you to get the Horizon Award. And uh, if you did the best out of both of them, you usually had the best chance of winning the Horizon Award. So, you know, every rider going out there every day for every heat race has got to make everything count. You got to get off the line well in your heat race to get uh, into the main event and start on the front row. Um, a lot of the tracks, because they race a lot of uh, classes, become more one line. They're during the day, so they get drier. Um, so, you know, whole shots and getting off the line is very important. So, uh, you know, there's a little bit of pressure there for some kids for sure because, uh, you know, some of them are definitely handpicked before they even go there to, to expect it to do well. So, um, and I was one of those guys. So you, you got to go there and perform and, you know, equipment's a, a big thing and, and just having, uh, you know, all your ducks in a row. You can't really afford a DNF or even a crash. So um, it's tough and, and it's a lot of fun. I do remember a lot the, the pressure being fun, but, um, you know, I feel like the guy that goes there and has, uh, you know, the cleanest days, you know, basically, you know, gets off the line well, doesn't have uh, any mishaps, um, you know, motorcycles stay together, I feel like is going to have the most success. What advice do you have for racers competing at this event for the first time? Uh, you know, for the first time, you got to go there. It's um, it can get a little uh, stressful because of the days and the long days and the times. But uh, you got to go there and have fun. And I remember going there and having lots of fun racing as an amateur. Um, you know, you don't have a whole lot of pressure as a, a 15 year old kid as far as bills and expenses and stuff like that. You just have to go there and perform. So go there and have fun. You know, school's out. It's a very hot time of the year. Um, and you got to go there with an open mind and have a lot of fun more than anything. And like I said, the AMA has always done a phenomenal job uh, running the whole uh, AMA Grand ch uh, Championship events there. And um, I never actually got to compete in DeCoin as an amateur, but um, I did in Indianapolis. That's where I won the Horizon Award. And I did the last year there at Springfield when I was actually a pro-am but could race the amateur Grands. Um, but the uh, DeCoin is going to be a very good uh, atmosphere, and we also race the DeCoin Mile um, the week, the you know, a couple of days before the actual Grand. So it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Well, Jared, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you 
as the honoree for the AMA Dirt Track Grand Championships in Bitcoin, Illinois, July 6th through the 10th. Thanks a lot, Greg. I look forward to it. And if you're not a member of the AMA, you should join. You can do that by going to AmericanMotorcyclist.com or you can make a phone call, 1-800-262-5646. We're here to protect your rights riding and racing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on AMA TV.